It is 640. Welcome back. Well, the KX Storm Team is gearing up for a summer severe weather season, and we want you to stay safe this summer and be the most informed that you've ever been about severe weather safety. We're continuing that mission during Severe Weather Awareness Week. Yeah, a danger that we usually often take for granted is that beautiful light show that Mother Nature brings us with thunderstorms. Of course, we admire lightning, but do you know how close you really are to that particular lightning bolt? New this morning, meteorologist Amber Wheeler is here to explain how you can calculate the distance and just how dangerous that lightning can be. Amber? Well, Tim and Alicia, we usually see the lightning before we hear the thunder. To calculate how far away it is from you, start counting after you see a flash of lightning and then stop once you hear the thunder. Now, if you count five seconds, that's one mile away. If you count, uh, if you count 10 seconds, rather, that's two miles away. It's important to remember that if you can see lightning or hear thunder, you are within striking distance. Now, there are two types of lightning, negative and positive. Negative lightning is typically in the bottom of the storm clouds and make up about 95% of all the lightning on Earth. And since it's lower, it's easier to strike the ground. Positive lightning lives in the tops of the clouds or in the anvil. It makes up 5% of all lightning and is the most powerful. Positive lightning is actually 10 times more powerful than negative lightning. And in fact, negative lightning, well, it has 300 million volts of, and positive lightning has 1, 1 billion. So it tells you a huge difference here. And when when the winds are strong, the storm can tilt and that exposes positive charges closer to the ground or easier to make their way to the ground to you and your home. Positive lightning can also strike 15 miles away from a storm. So it is very important to heed the warnings of storms because if you survive a lightning strike, the chances are very high for lifelong neurological damage. Okay, dangerous stuff. Thank you, Amber. Well, the majority of lightning strike deaths that happen in the U.S. happen at outdoor sporting events. According to the National Weather Service, more deaths happen on soccer fields by 40% and 27% of deaths while on the golf course. 17% occur while running and 10% happen on the baseball diamond. 100% of these deaths are preventable, which is why you hear the saying every year, when thunder roars, go indoors. You should wait at least 30 minutes uh, after hearing thunder before you decide to go back outdoors. All right, some good advice there. And in the